Hey guys, welcome back to another quick form video. In today's video, we're talking about a new phone, the Celero 5G Plus. So this is by Boost Mobile. Real nice packaging. I really do like this color. Really nice. So this is going to be an unboxing, of course, guys. I will be doing an, uh, <laughs> lots of video with this. So you guys better subscribe and stay tuned because we will do a gaming test, a camera test, and overall a final review once I'm done testing it out. So. Right now, in today's video, we're just doing the unboxing. So let's go ahead and check it out. Like I said, the Solero 5G, this is the front, really nice. I like how it's a black uh, box, you know, with the name right there. Of course, there is a Solero, but this is a Solero 5G Plus. So really nice. Uh, on the left side, this is just as the name. Same thing on the right side. In the back, we will get a little bit more information on it. So it is a seven inch full HD plus display. 50 megapixel, 5 megapixel, and a 2 megapixel main camera. So the main one's a 50 with a 16 megapixel selfie camera. So let's see if that will capture it. Um, very small print, so I really doubt it. But uh, overall, it's nice. 6 gigs of RAM, guys. This is nice. These specs for this price, guys, is crazy. So, of course, 6 gigs of, uh, whoop, six gigs of RAM, 120 gigs of storage. You can get up to a hundred and uh, up to one terabyte. Sorry, and I don't know why this thing's having so much time focusing, but it does have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 real nice octa core processor up to a 2.2 gigahertz. So, really nice specs overall. So, let's get into it, guys. I can't wait. Um, last thing is, it does have a really big 5000 milliamp battery, so it's nice having that. So, let's go ahead and pop her open and see what she has to offer. So once we have that, oh, missed a little tab right here. Whoa, check this out, guys. Boost Mobile is really has outdone themselves this time. So let's go ahead and see. This is a Type C charger, so it is still using a USB uh, and right here, so as you can see it right there. So it is. It's not a Type C, you know, a Type C. It's still like I said, it's a USB right here to. USB to a type C. So it is type C, which is nice. So it does charge faster. It does have better transfer speeds and everything. That's what I like about it. So check it out. Let's get to the star of the show, of course. There's no case or anything that comes with it, guys. It's just literally a uh, little starter guide book right here. So a little starter guide. It tells you a little bit about it. Nothing too crazy. Does have a SIM extractor tool right here. So you can see it right there. And finally, this is the phone. Let me put this to the side. So check this out. Of course, it's still in the plastic. Oh my God, look at that color. That's probably the coolest color phone I've had in a while. Look at this thing, it's beautiful. It's really big, guys. Look at that. Let's say we'll do a full depth um, review on this phone later on. I'll just give you some of the specs real quick. So I said really nice. This is a seven inch full HD plus display. So that's why it's huge guys. The front right here will have a 16 megapixel camera. And of course in the back you have the 50 megapixel camera, uh, which is this one. You have a two megapixel depth camera and a five megapixel ultra wide camera. So pretty cool. It does have a fingerprint side fingerprint, um, uh, Scanner right here for your fingerprint, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and pop her open and see what she has. Really like the packaging. The color, guys, is probably the coolest thing about this. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm oh my god, look at that thing. Let me put this to the side. Guys, I'm not sure if this video even makes it. Oh, um, if it does it any justice, you can kind of see the reflection right there. Look at that. Oh my God. This is probably the coolest phone. I've never had an orange phone in my life. So this is really nice. I like different colors, man. I'm tired of just black and white, you know, maybe some red, but this time really nice. Just have the logo right here, Solero 5G. Like I said, there's the cameras right there. If you go focus, it's just so reflective. It's a little hard. Um, so volume up volume down and you do have your power button slash fingerprint sensor right there 
On the top, like I said, you do have your front facing camera, 16 megapixels. On the bottom, you do have still a headphone jack, guys. It's really, let's see if it can focus it. It does uh, really good. It does have a 16, um, it's a megapixel front camera, which is great. It does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the, in the bottom, uh, type C charger and a bottom firing speaker, which is nice. Um, on the left side, you don't have anything except for the SIM extractor um, little tray right here. And of course, you put your SIM extractor tool and it pops out, but that's where it's at. So let's go ahead and turn her on, guys, and see what she has. Real nice. Ooh. So there you go. It does have, a, it looks like an LCD screen. So uh, as you can see, the blacks, when they do turn on, it's not fully black. It's kind of like a gray, so nothing too crazy, but... I'm gonna go ahead and go through the steps, guys, and we'll be back in just a little bit. But, ooh, look at that. Very, very reflective phone. Been excited, uh, thanks, and shout out to Boost Mobile. You know, they are a great company. And I believe I got the black SIM tray, or SIM card, so that means I will be using AT&T's network. So I can't wait to try that out, so pretty cool. There it is, Solero 5G Plus. So like I said, we'll continue recording once it's back up. There it is. All right, guys, so now it's back. This is what it looks like fresh out the box once. Of course, you do all the different steps that you have to do, like put in your Gmail and everything. Really nice, of course, it's Android. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. Very nice phone, guys. It's big, it's five inches. So definitely, you, uh, you might have to use two hands depending on the size of your hand. I mean, mine's good enough. We can just hold it, but definitely really good. It's gonna be one of those phones I'm gonna use for multimedia consumption, like anime, YouTube, and all that stuff, you know. So let's go into the settings. So battery is at about 47%, which is not bad at all. Of course, you can uh, show your battery percentage here in the settings if you wanted to. Storage, of course, 128 total storage, but we really only have 108. Um, left so or 103 sorry so 103 of course most of it 20 percent of it is already used through the system um, and everything else which is still not bad at all 100 gigs is plenty um, about the phone of course the Celero 5g plus phone number known of course uh, there's all this and it does have android version 12 so not 13 just yet but overall it's great um, just check out the camera real quick. Here's the preloaded apps. Of course, I have not put in my Boost Mobile SIM card just yet. Let's check out the camera. So, not too shabby at all to show the, the chair, my gaming chair that I have. And overall, it does look pretty nice. So, 50 megapixels, it's not bad at all. Of course, it looks different. It is, um, I do have the the brightness toned down right now. And of course, this is in a kind of dark lit room, so nothing special. Uh, of course, it's a gloomy day, but I'll try it out when I go out and about, maybe mountain biking today. So thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Dragon of Warfare sign off, guys. I'm excited to be back into the studio doing reviews, unboxings, and everything for you guys. So a lot more content your way. And of course, thanks to Boost Mobile for making this possible. Thanks so much, like I said, I'll do gaming tests, um, camera tests, and any other tests you want me to do. So thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and a lot of content coming your way. Thank you.